Hello, and welcome to Arca, Kentucky. I have never been here before. Well, I did go to the practice session before this, but other than that, I have never been here before. And that means, like, ever. <laughs> I don't think I've ever even been to this track or raced on this track in, like, another game or anything. Like, this is completely new to me, even though it was once on the NASCAR schedule. Uh, so completely brand new to me. Um, been figuring it out a little bit. I think I'm kind of getting it. Uh, kind of getting some ideas of how this seems to be working out. Green, green, green. But I'm okay. sure there's plenty of people much faster than I am. We'll see what we can do here in this practice, or uh, this qualifying rather. Seems like you kind of want to be on that seam down there. Um, don't take any of my advice seriously, because like I said, brand new to this place. But I've been getting some speed kind of like straddling this seam down here. And getting loose on the exit. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh, wow. um, kind of straddling that seam, fighting the loose a little bit. That was not a great lap compared to my all-time best, but... Kind of reminds me of uh, Homestead a little bit in the Arca car. There's kind of like that lower seam that you kind of want to get on there. But other than that, not really much of anything to do with Homestead. We'll see how that works. I think that was a little bit faster. 422 to a 346. Um, obviously, tire saving is going to be a big thing, but I think that seam should help with that as well. Get it on the right rear, get it loose. Um, I did watch Gavin's race before this. Um, kind of learned where the uh, liftoff points are and stuff. He was breaking into the corner, which I suppose I might try. Especially because it looked like people were having some uh, serious wear on the right front. So I think trying to limit that as much as possible might be good. So I think I'll be patient on the throttle during the race. Really try to wait until we get through the corner quite a ways before getting on it. I really have no idea where I'm going to end up. I could end up completely losing the tires because uh, I don't know how to save them here. Um, it could just be horribly slow, although this qualifying seem, seems okay. Uh, we're second right now, and only a little bit behind the, the guy's got holes, so this seemed to work out okay. But, lots of unknowns for me here. So, uh, we, uh, we are doing a late night race. It's Monday night, or rather, <clears throat> Tuesday morning. <laughs> it's like 3 a.m. right now. Um, I wasn't going to do a race, or at the very least not even do a recording because I'm super tired. Uh, kind of had a really busy day on Sunday at work. Worked again today, and I was kind of just feeling a little tired, but man, I was really excited to give this a try. And, uh, well, I want to get in on recording, right? I like having my videos kind of like as an archival as well, so I can go back and look at like, hey, this was my first race ever in this car, or whatever, whatever. So, uh, hey, I'll uh, have my first race here uh, at Kentucky, Legacy Kentucky to be exact, and uh, I'll just sound tired maybe, <laughs> a little tired, a little less, a little lower energy than normal. But uh, maybe I'm good enough at masking it. We'll find out, I guess, if I look at the recording. Let's, uh, well, let's see. Station, all right, kicked out. <laughs> Get this all ready for, oops. This all ready for whenever it is time to look at incidents later. Boop. Alrighty, fellas, let's try to have a good race. Uh, we are the number one. I think I was meaning to get to that point earlier. It's late night, so we are the number one. Um, 
All right, that looks okay, but oh, I wanted to see how the tires were looking. Seems okay, but it's going to matter a whole lot more saving the tires in the end. Um, visiting Twin Ring Motegi actually went pretty well whenever I was new to that. So uh, hopefully this will go well as well. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. I fell on a well. I don't feel well. But. Good luck to everybody. I just want to have a nice run. That's all. Same to you, man. Maybe I can learn something from the number two. Or faster than me in qualifying. And. Well, since I have zero experience, he either has the same or more experience than I do here. So, by that logic, should hopefully learn something. I'm so tired, though. <laughs> I just started rolling, and I'm like, I'm about to fall asleep, man. Is this a good idea? <laughs> I don't know. By the way, starting second, like, again, I feel like I start second every other race. It's, um... Uh, I have to do this stupid look to the left thing. And probably get a horrible jump. Also in Gavin's race, we had, like, I think it was Larry Pace, like, usually dominating the field. He, like, self-spawned in turn one or something like that. I was listening to the race rather than watching it. Radio I was radio-style watching it, so to speak. And, uh, apparently Larry Pace is known for being very fast and winning everything. Apparently had issue. Is this a short shift, or... I don't know whether to short shift this, or... I'm gonna do second gear start. Sounds like he's doing... Okay. Might have been first gear start. <laughs> I wasn't sure, that was super in between. How's this gonna go? Alright. I managed not to self spin, turn one. By 7,000 I rating it. <laughs> Almost self spurn spurn? Self spun in a turn three and four though. In case you couldn't tell, I tried to mix spun and turn. Like a genius. The next card, the lead up. That's where spurn came from. <sighs> so he was off to the races. Certainly loose on throttle, that's good for now. I'll try to keep it that way if I can. I have no idea how to drive this though. Brand new. I'm gonna try to keep it loose on the right rear. See if that serves me well. And uh, we'll see. I end up going very, very backwards by the end of this one. It's pretty close to the wall up there. Thinking, uh, cutting that little bit of apron on the front stretch is not going to be worth anything. I might get a short little boost, uh, like I did it in qualifying. But I think like it's just gonna make you slower for the rest of the straightaway, so. Gap to Norton ahead is increasing. It's now 0.9. We're keeping the number two within our sights at least. Vic, what are you doing? What is he doing? That was I don't know. You ever watch NASCAR? They don't go left and right across the whole thing. They do have road courses. <laughs> um anyway. Looks like we're getting some space behind us, that's cool. Or maybe not, maybe that means that we're overdriving. 
We're gonna get on the scene, but it's really not helping this thing turn as much as I would like. Or as much as I would hope for. There's a curved front stretch, so I will try to at least get to the bottom there. So not to do that, I suppose. Oh, that felt pretty good. Yeah, I just gotta, I gotta tone it in and try to be more consistent. Get where I need to, I would like to get on the track. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of uh, Homestead, particularly like through one and two when you're you're trying to get on that seam between the first and second lane. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Throttle. Get it turned with the aforementioned throttle instead of the wheel. Well, that'll bring us good places. We are reeling them in as of right now. But it's still only lap eight, so who knows what's going to happen. I kind of like this, though. I, I, I know people typically say they don't like Kentucky. I've heard that quite a bit. I don't know. I've enjoyed it so far. It's a mile and a half, so I am predisposed to very much enjoying these types of tracks. Love the cookie cutters. Who doesn't like cookies? What's wrong with you? <laughs> but, oh. You know, it takes a little bit a little bit of finesse in the corners, that's even better, rather than just being flat on the throttle. Of course, it being the ARCA car probably helps with that. These cars are fantastic. They're a little bit tight. Not much draft in this car, so I'm going to prefer to just keep them a little lower than them if I can. got lag right now. I need not to be passing when I got lag. Don't do that. Internet, we need you to behave. Uh, we seem to be much faster than him right now. He seems to have been bad to the tires. Or I'm being bad to the tires currently. Still gotta keep my mind open to the possibilities. But... <laughs> If I am going to try to make a pass, I should probably wait until that L in the top right corner is not yellow. Because it was yellow when I was initially looking. See, like, when he's kind of like running middle on that, like, circular front stretch there, to me that's just, that's just lost time if you're not going to go all the way to the bottom. See any reason not to maximize your lap. He's gonna break a little bit now. Car still feels good. Look at that. Bottom of the track. Like it. quite on the scene how I want to be there, but still a pretty decent line to take, I think. Maybe he was just uh, only going as fast as he felt he needed to, and maybe uh, now that I've caught up to him, now he's uh, just maintaining. Because it felt like I caught him real quick, and then all of a sudden, I'm not catching him no more. <laughs> so, he was just maintaining. Still lots to go though, so I'm not gonna worry about this too much.
Is he getting tight? Like, I can't tell if he's getting tight or if he's just using the whole track like, well, like what's probably smart. He probably should use the whole track. Good consistency. I mean, if they you got the room. Thank you, want to use it. Trying to wheel less. And follow him a little bit. See, that was a good corner. Maybe I am learning something right now. It looks like he's going into the corner a lot harder than I am. My assumption would be it's less good on the tires. Tires are going a little overheated. Okay, gotta block that off, I suppose. It's all right. I'm in no hurry. I am happy with the position I'm in right now. I'm sorry, I said you. Second. Feeling like moving to a first here, potentially. Still got lots and lots of room behind us. Probably gonna pass you again in a little while. I'm just gonna clean my tires. Yeah, I'll work with you. Uh, I'm gonna try and work with you so we can catch these guys. Yeah, as as Not like that it, angle. Oh my god, okay. it got tight. It got so tight right there. Oh my gosh, that's a new experience. I'm not touch you, but I'm I just learned something about Kentucky right now. You know, draft. Imagine that. Oh, All right, noted. Added to the memory banks. Not very much banking, I guess, right there, and that's probably what caused that feeling. I just field with my feelers. You've just done a 33.7. Apparently, my commentary gets weirder when I'm tired, too. <laughs> so, we'll regroup. And, uh, approach again later. Get on that scene much better. Crimson does still doesn't feel bad. Um, I think I just took a bad corner there. Not ideal. Suddenly feeling less confident though. After that moment I had which was probably bad to the right front. Probably did some harm to my long-term goals. <laughs> Apron tried to suck me in like a black hole right there. Got my uh, left front close to it. It started reaching for me. We have some lap cars up ahead. It's a very large track, so you would think that shouldn't be an issue. But, uh. Watch out for a thing coming by. I had some problems in practice, too. <laughs> Guys going 20 miles an hour off the pace with a broken car sitting in the driving line, so. You never quite know, especially with these late night low circuit races. Never know quite what to expect. Heck, even with the high strength of field races, I see some weird stuff sometimes. I do some weird stuff sometimes, so... You know what? Expect the unexpected. That's probably a good motto to live by. So, I've been trying to take it a little easier on the tires here. Trying to regroup. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Crew Chief says, good consistency. You to him for the kind words. <laughs> what does he know? He's not a driver. You got in the wall just a tiny bit there, though. That was basically nothing. It means nothing. Might as well have not had. So, uh, not exactly crazy laps here or anything right now. I definitely feel the car falling off. Learning a lot though about how this car kind of evolves as time goes on. Ooh, that was not a good entry. That felt icky. 
I didn't get it angled properly on corner entry. I ruined the whole corner. The three is that trouble. That kind of ruins my corner entry as well. He did everything he needed to do, though. Just caught him at a bad time, which is corner entry. Yeah, it looks like the two's gonna be off, off and off and good. He's gonna have a fine old time. Red Bull, you're going kind of out of line. What's up, dog? Looks like he's uh, doing better than I am at this point. What's up? Because you're going out of line a little bit. I mean, I guess I can't feel too bad about this, though. I mean, he is the number two, so... Oh my god, what am I looking at down there? <laughs> oh, he is the number two, so... Uh, presumably has a pretty good eye rating, so he knows what he's doing. And uh, we have five and a half seconds behind us, so... Um, can't feel bad, really. Second place would be fantastic at a track I've never been to before. We can continue. On, I am worried for the number two right now, saying what I just saw. Don't want to win a race that way. If I can avoid it, although he's kind of getting raced by the lap right now, and it's ruining his time. He's giving him a bad time. Don't do it to me as well, five. Give me a solid. Don't do that to me. Oh, he got close to my right rear. That was scary. Uh, I have to ask you, sir, to get your act together. That might have hurt the two a little bit, having to run offline for a little bit. I gained some time. Still think he's better though. I'm trying. That lap was at thirty four point zero. How much are we done for? Might have to just start trying to use up the tires here later on. See what they have left in them, see what I can do, but because I don't know if I'm going to have any shot regardless. Let me give me an idea on where I'm at. You can definitely tell I'm inconsistent though, like session last lap says I was up a tenth. And there's no real reason that should have happened other than just being inconsistent. So that's where an experience comes in. That's where I've got to try to improve. Uh, so that way I'm hitting that minus one tenth lap every lap if possible. If there's no reason I can't, then I should probably aiming to should. <laughs> you got five laps to go. I said like that. Anyway, another news. Got another lap car coming up. This is actually a the lap car coming up is actually a familiar face from the practice session before, and uh, they were having some interesting troubles. So hopefully they'll will be able to hold the line for us. Huh. 
Yeah, they're going to kind of just park it on the driving line, it looks like. And park it into the wall, and park it inside of me. Thank you. Really appreciate that. They're on my exit. There goes one tenth, two tenth, three tenth, four. Thank you, 17. I want some more. Actually, I don't. Bye. <laughs> the fun rest of your race. Well, any shot we just had. Any shot we had. Potentially, maybe, it was probably gone now. That we had much it <laughs> much anyway but well we'll finish this thing out i didn't think lap traffic was going to be a problem but well, i sure found a way i don't really know how to even push here on these old tires i don't know what it would take to drive a little harder Fence maybe. <laughs> See, that just kind of ruins the run off if I drive in that hard. What flag did I don't know. I think you just want to be smooth here. It looks like. I don't think you want to try to do anything too crazy. To go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Hey, nah, it was good right there, bud. Good right. Good right, boys. Well, unless something really weird happens right in front of the leader here. I had my wheel and my back wheel broke and I went in the mud without racing. I'll still do your back. Good win number two. Well done. All right. Great I can feel good about runner-up. I have not had a bad day All today. Right. Yeah, 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 like nice wheel. I got one of them T248s. I was kind of skeptical. Job. You did really well. I really like it. Hey, yeah, runner-up, that's very, uh, I'm yeah, very happy with that our, uh, for my first race here, even if it is late night, low streak the field, blah, 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 you heard me say it before. <laughs> Pretty fun, I actually, I actually quite like that. Yeah, if I had a little more to invest, that might have been what I had got. Probably do, do this some more, learn some more yeah, things. Yeah, I didn't want to get a cheaper wheel, because I didn't want to end up, you know, being and a cheap one, and then inevitably buying this maybe one. Maybe learn you know? how to be a little faster. I had G29 lasting. Certainly um, gapped him a bit um, behind us. They were 10 seconds back from the leader. And then some of the other higher high rating guys had some trouble. Three. And what? The had pedals some trouble. The five. And this has the magnetic pedals of the non contact. Oh, yeah, it did burn off the right front. It really didn't even feel like it was, but. Have a good oh, one, guys. That's crazy. Have a good one, guys. Bye bye. How about that? So, we'll uh, see what happened to some of these guys and the incidents. Here's a number five. Just kind of gets in the wall a little bit there. Nothing really going on, though. Blonking. Balling. Blonking, twinning, blinking, and then yeah, I was going to wait and see what happened after the blink because it looked like he was coming into that corner at a weird angle. Well, that's a blink. If that guy, we're just going to skip over then. That's going to be a wall. I don't know about the high line here. You know I would have been trying it <laughs> if it seemed viable at all, but I didn't see anything. that I didn't seem to be working at all whenever I was experimenting early on. In the practice beforehand, as you know, if the high line's working, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's some out there. But there's a three already back in fifteenth. Not sure what's going on. Those guys looked like the five was already in the back as well. We haven't seen anything to indicate why that might be. Ouch. That wasn't very nice now, was it? What a dive. He just runs them over. I don't know why they would have been... They would have had such a speed difference on the entry. I mean, they enter really low for some reason. It's 
odd. I just entered the corner in two very different ways. I think one guy underdrove, one guy overdrove it, and they found each other. Kentucky! Three pointing out the name of the track, thank you. Bick! Takis! A whole bunch of wallets. They must be experiencing what I experienced that one time. Exiting the corner where it just really wasn't turning all of a sudden. I really only experienced that horrible tight feeling once in the race, and I'm, I think that really set off a chain of events of heating that right front up, and then suddenly I just wasn't going to get it back anymore. Are you just having a rough time? This is still just lap 21, too, and these guys are kind of in such tight conditions. I think these guys might be driving like, uh... Like they're expecting the banking to be steeper or something. I think guys are just expecting the banking to catch them a little bit more, like it is Homestead or something, and it's just not doing it for them. I don't know. So look at how many people are just mowing down the walls and like the, the lower card numbers too. Whoa, we got the crossover. That's just good racing. The incidents just wanted to show us a cool move. <laughs> Oof. Just some wall hits. That guy's either gonna blink or hit the wall. It's fourth place. Is this, uh, I think this guy, yeah, he ended up finishing fourth as well. Having such a bad time. 17 having some trouble. Bouncing it off the wall. Oh, that's when we were catching him too. Yeah, that's the leader coming up, and then... I wasn't going to catch the leader, I think. But this didn't help. Because, I don't know, he's like... Not only hit the wall, but like... He looks like he's... Falling out of the sky like a shooting star, about to come and eclipse me. <laughs> wasn't wasn't really too interested in losing my second place from that. So even though it killed my exit of the corner, I was about 200 times safer than I probably even needed to be, and stayed well clear of him. Blinky boy, Dean. Nothing. I think guys are probably getting below 50% on the right front. That's probably why we're seeing guys right now. So, uh, blinking guy, blinking guy. That's just pure frustration right there. Is that the end of the race, though, too, for him? Because he's he fishes two laps down, but it might be because he just rage quits right here. Like, that looks like. It's like, this thing will not turn, spanking is not carrying me, like I expect it to, it hits the wall, and it's like, you know what, forget it. Wall, wall, wall. I am upset. <laughs> he sparks it. Sparks it. Holy smokes. Is this after the race? Maybe it's after the race. Okay, yeah, I think it's after the race. Still, he was, you could, you could just feel the visceral frustration. <laughs> and uh, that, I suppose is all she wrote for that one. So that was very interesting. Enjoyed running Kentucky for the first time. The old Kentucky Derby here in the, in the Arca series. Um, I definitely feel like I learned some things. I think uh, next time I'll probably take it a little easier from the start, because even though it doesn't feel like it, really are getting on that right front real bad. So I'll probably take it easier from the start, wait a little bit longer to get on the gas, and uh, maybe we'll have something for the leader next time. But for this for this run, two got the win, and uh, we got silver medal, which I am absolutely okay with because it was a fun race, learned a lot, and, well, hey, it's, it's runner-up. That's not bad at all. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.